Jay Haynes of the Film Sensei YouTube channel. Today in this video, I'm talking about how to create Star Wars style blaster bolts in Hit Film Free. Before I begin, I do want to point out that I am using free practice footage available from Action VFX. There are four clips here that you can use to practice with, and I will leave a link in the description to this practice footage so you can follow along. And instead of actually building this project file in front of your eyes, I'm going to very quickly just go over it so you can see what it entails. The first thing you'll notice is that I have the practice footage almost on the very bottom of the stack. Then I have a plane for the green laser and a plane for the red laser. If you were to look at this, you will see that the blend mode for those are both add and they are black planes with those lasers on them. And you can see them in this example. Okay. So here's the red laser and here's the green laser immediately following. So if I were to back up here to the red laser and open up the footage, you'll see that we have a light sword ultra 2.0 this could be a regular light sword effect as well which is why it works in hit film free now if you look you can see that i am keyframing the extension to go from zero to 100 and then down to zero again just like this okay and at the same time i have placed the tip in one location which is here and I have placed the hilt in a different location, which is here. And I'm just adjusting those. Also, I have created the width of both of those to match the scene. So in this case, the width of the hilt, which is back here, is smaller than the width of the tip, which is over here where the laser is coming from. Below the laser sword effect is an auto lights flare effect that has actually been changed to reflect the color of the laser which is in this case red now if you look at the green laser you'll see the same setup except for the fact that everything is green you can see that the tip is set to the smaller pixel level width and the hilt is set to the larger pixel width also, under the auto lights flare, you'll notice that I have colored this to be green as well. So this is what creates that big glowing flash. Also, in addition to this, under the red laser, I have set up a mask in the form of a mat, which you can find on the bottom of the layer stack. It is the laser mat. And if you look at that laser mat, then you'll see that it will show different things that will block off the lasers from sight. So for example, this laser actually travels behind our protagonist here. And this is a gray layer that then has a plane underneath it. And if you were to examine the plane, you would find that it is masked out in ways that block off the protagonist and essentially occlude the blaster bolt. And to top the whole thing off, I have placed a gray layer on the top of the layer stack and I have added another auto light flare of my choice that is set to just a regular white color to really bring out the flares and the flashes themselves. You can see that they are not nearly as bright without that. And adjusting these things to taste, you can get a really beautiful Star Wars style blaster bolt for your short film or project. I'm Jay Haynes with the Film Sensei YouTube channel, and this has been how to create Star Wars style blaster bolts in Hit Film Free. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, ringing the bell icon for notifications so you can see all the latest information about HitFilm. Thanks for watching.